Let's get to the latest on Capitol Hill because Democrat and Republican leadership have reached a deal on top line spending numbers for 2024. A congressional leader setting spending for the year at $1.6 trillion, but a possible government shutdown still looms. Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman has the latest on that. And Rick, where do things stand today? I think this is a happy surprise that there is a deal among the leaders uh, to keep the government funded and keep everything going in Washington. Uh, but it's not approved. Uh, it's not voted on yet. So we are, in a way, back to where we were last uh, September. And the whole question is whether uh, the new House Speaker, uh, Mike Johnson, who replaced Kevin McCarthy, whether he can get enough Republican votes uh, to pass this or if uh, in, the, in the alternative, if Democrats will uh, provide the votes that uh, the House would need to get this through. So it's the same um, kind of tension between the House Speaker and the uh, conservatives in the House, the Republican conservatives known as the House Freedom Caucus, who don't like this deal. They don't think it cuts spending by enough. But the question is, will, they, will enough of those uh, super conservative Republicans go along with this to get it uh, over the hump? and pa passed and sent up to the White House, or will we see the same sort of drama we saw last year uh, with them you know, grumbling about the speaker and ultimately trying to fire the speaker? The uh, analysis I'm seeing this morning suggests that di the dynamic is a little different this time, mainly because uh, Mike Johnson comes from that, uh, that conservative wing of the Republican Party, and there's not the kind of personal animosity that existed between the uh, those conservatives and Kevin McCarthy. So, you know, the, the, the optimal outcome for markets would be that they just pass this thing and we don't have to care about all these um, dynamics among uh, the Republican Party at war with itself, and we can just get on with knowing that the government is funded. But there's, uh, you know, we're not, we're not there yet. Where does it seem the biggest hang up will continue to be, Rick? It's that it's it's whether um, it's whether conservative the conservative wing will say we can live with these very modest spending cuts or if they demand more. And then, uh, by the way, this does not include that so that separate deal uh, that would that would include uh, the aid for Ukraine that President Biden wants aid for Israel. Uh, and those two things coupled with some kind of um, immigration deal to tighten up. Uh, on the migrants coming across the southwest border. So that is not included in this. That would be separate. Um, and I mean, the odds of all of this happening might be about uh, 60 percent. Uh, President Biden said recently that his State of the Union address uh, is going to be scheduled for March 7th. That is a little later than usual. It's usually in February. Uh, and that might be so that there's enough breathing room to get the government fully funded and get these things out of the way before Biden goes up to Capitol Hill. All right. It'll be interesting to see how the funding brouhaha on a cadence level at this point uh, plays into the 2024 elections as well here. Rick, thanks so much for breaking this down and continuing to monitor the situation.